Hello everyone, here's your weather hazard briefing for Tuesday, May 14th. We have another round of showers and a few thunderstorms today. Um, we will see some uh, wind and some locally heavy rain and maybe even a little small hail. We're not expecting anything like yesterday, but some gusts around 40 are certainly uh, not out of the question. And even without thunderstorms, we'll have some gusty winds around in some portions of our area today. Now, even though we don't have a strong high pressure ridge setting up over us for any special amount of time, conditions do remain on the warmer side and that is at least through the weekend into the first part of next week and at least for midweek a few showers possible just along the divide and some places at least temporarily trying to push near 80 degrees over the next couple of days. Satellite shows one wave exiting. This is the one responsible for producing all the strong to severe storms yesterday. That's moved off to the east. The next wave is already pushing into the western part of the state for today. Looking at the weather risk outlook matrix, uh, just real low impacts across the area. Again, where we have a little bit higher impact for storms, that's where we could see stronger thunderstorms for today. Otherwise, it will continue to be a breezy in some spots across our area today and off and on through the rest of the week with a few showers here and there across the board. So where are those showers going to be for today? And at least for the most part over the eastern half, eastern two-thirds of our area, looking at where we're going for the rest of the day. You'll notice we have a little bit of activity moving out of the Central Mountains up towards Island Park early on during the day. We've even had a few thunderstorms overnight up in that area. That will eventually spread south and eastward across the area. And most of this activity dies off as we go into the afternoon, late afternoon, evening hours. That all, it should be the peak is what I'm saying. By mid to late evening, we start to see a lo lose a, most of that activity across our area. So once again, thunderstorms, some of them could produce some uh, gusty winds near 40, some locally heavy rainfall, and also uh, maybe some of the stronger ones could produce a little bit of small hail uh, with them for today. So for the overall wind pattern, the strongest winds remain across the Magic Valley down into the South Hills and Albion Mountains for today. And up north, that's where we have our light shower activity for this morning. Those gusts around, down around Burley, Oakley, uh, down around Yale and Idaho, some of those gusts over 30 miles per hour. They pick up a little bit with some of those gusts pushing 40 miles an hour down in that part of our area this afternoon into the early evening hours. Otherwise, maybe a few gusts over 25 miles an hour in a few spots. Otherwise, uh, like I said, generally the eastern two-thirds of our area for this afternoon will see that uh, potential for some showers and thunderstorms. Going into this afternoon, we are going to be a little bit cooler than we were yesterday. Uh, probably about 2 to 5 degrees across the board cooler. 60s to low 70s uh, for our warmer spots for today and uh, some 40s and 50s up in the mountains. Now for this evening, what's left of the shower activity, generally along and east of 15, also up uh, north of Mud Lake as well. And those winds continuing over uh, portions of the Treasure and Magic Valleys down into the South Hills, Albion Mountains, but those gusts uh, not too much above 30 miles an hour and that'll be mostly before uh, sunset this evening. Otherwise temperatures tomorrow do rebound a little bit. E the wind won't be too bad for tomorrow across the area. Thursday we start to see temperatures pushing near 80 in some places again on Thursday after a pretty warm spark and start and Thursday and into Friday and into Saturday we've got quite a bit of wind in our forecast across the area. Temperatures you'll notice Friday and into Saturday. Saturday is where we see the drop off uh, with the system settling in from the north, uh, helping to knock the temperatures down a little bit. We're still not a lot, it's expecting a lot of precipitation Saturday, just a little cooler and windy across the area. So, again, the next round of showers and storms will be throughout the day into this evening, and we'll see some gusty winds with thunderstorms, some locally heavy rain, small hail, and outside of thunderstorms down across the Magic Valley, Treasure Valley, down towards Idaho, uh, Yale, that area. There'll be some gusty winds this afternoon. And beyond that, it remains warm across the area, mostly dry, but again, uh, especially after tomorrow, turning breezy across our region. Have a great day, and do stay safe out there, everyone.